Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. So it is a new video, but the same day as my last video where Jason and I worked real hard to get all these plants planted up in my oak tree garden bed. It turned out so well and I am completely in love with it. I'm really excited about my plan. I, I worked really hard and planning this garden bed out since it's underneath this beautiful old oak tree right here. And I live in California, so it's a native California oak and we have to be really careful about what we plant under the tree. It has to be drought tolerant, low water, and not going to mess with the tree roots. So super excited. All of these plants are perfect for that. I got it off. Um, I'm going to say it wrong, but it's like the oak tree foundation recommendations of plants that you can plant under an oak tree. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. And I actually, I'm not ready to go inside. I want to keep working outside. And my plan was to hook this whole area up on drip, hook it up on irrigation. But I was talking to Jason as we were taking a break and cleaning up after we finished this whole project. And we thought, well, we still have about half, you know, more, 50% more plants to put into this garden bed. So why don't we go shopping first and then do the, put them in and then we can do the irrigation in one fell swoop. So I guess I'll have to take one for the team today and go to the garden center. So let's go to the plant store. We got every single one. Isn't that pretty, girls? Yeah. That's gonna be so bright in the shade. It's gonna like, like be a light, basically. A not light gorgeous. In shade. A light in shade. But gorgeous. Not, but not too hot light. Yes, not hot light. <laughs> All right. I think our cart is full. Shay, you think our cart is full? Yes. We found two pin cushion flowers. That's it. And then we found all the sword ferns that we needed. So pretty good. Okay, you guys ready to go? It is quite windy, so I'm sorry about the wind noise. But I do have to say, this Cleveland sage, they only had one, unfortunately. I have to look for the other two. I had three in my plan. It smells so, so good. It smells delicious. I am so excited to have this in that garden bed just for the smell, because my bedroom, the window's kind of, kind of close to it, so I think with the wind at night, this will smell so good. So very excited about that more pink cushion flower and then the bright pop of the hookra. All right, everyone, it is a new day. We, things just kind of got out of hand after the garden center visit with the kids and with Jason and everything like that. So we just took the rest of that day off, enjoyed the weather, and now it's the next day. It's still absolutely beautiful today. And I wanna show you what I got at the garden center and then we'll get those planted. 
Okay, so what we ended up with, I have this whole cute wagon. I haven't used this wagon in such a long time, and I've been using it a ton ever since I started working in the oak tree garden bed, just because it's super easy to bring a ton of stuff uh, over at once. So you can see we've got all this, um, what did they call it, lime green? What is it? Citronelle hookra. Um, or coral bells. Really pretty and it's gonna bring a nice bright pop in the shade or light in the shade as Sadie, my daughter says. So we have lots of those, more over here and then right here is the sword, the southern sword fern, all right here. And I actually have this, sorry about the quick turn. <laughs> I actually have this right here, right next to my garage. And it does really, really well. It's super happy in our climate. It does like a little bit more shade and I'm gonna put it way in the back of that garden bed, the oak tree garden bed. So I think it should be pretty happy, but for a fern, it does not need a lot of water. So it's perfect and I was excited to see it under the list of good plants to plant right underneath an oak tree. And then finally, two more of the pincushion flowers so i'll just get those going i still need to get some more of these and i need to get three more of these this is that cleveland sage i was telling you guys about yesterday it smells so good if it didn't get so big i would definitely plant this in my backyard because i am just loving the smell of this but this is going to get five by five <laughs> so five feet tall and five feet wide so don't let this tiny little one gallon pot fool you it's going to get huge so the variety i got was winifred gilman um but i you know it's just it's stunning Clusters of dark purple blue flowers in the spring, summer, and fall. Needs full sun, good drainage, and little summer water, which is exactly what I need. So we'll see how this does in the light that I'm giving it. It's filtered sun. One of these is going on my neighbor's side of the bed that definitely gets, I mean, a good six to eight hours of sun. So I think it should be good. The other two on my side of the garden bed might struggle a little bit with, with sunlight, but we'll see. And if I need to move things around, I do not mind doing that. All right, so I've got all this stuff. I'm gonna take it over to the oak tree garden bed and then I'll get planting. I want it. I have to say this chartreuse coral bells or hookra really brings a pop of color to this garden bed. It definitely needed that. So I don't know if I need more. I don't know. I'll have to kind of look at it. I'm going to get everything planted and then let it kind of start to grow in a little bit and then I'll look at it and I'll see what it needs. So I kind of wanted it to look a little bit like a mixed border but nothing like not too messy. And I think I'm kind of, you know, towing the line on it being too messy. That's why I'm grouping things together. Um, and you can see over here, I have this hookra, kind of in a line, kind of, you know, kind of bordering the oak tree, coming over here to my neighbor's property, uh, you know, more groupings. And then I know you can't really see because we haven't finished taking out the sweet flag grasses back there, but I do have the Southern Sword Ferns um, kind of put, let's see, one there, one there and then one there kind of in a trio so those will get nice and big and bulky and then we're going to cover this whole area with black mulch so i really think the lime hookah is going to pop then and i think it'll be really really pretty so yeah so i guess what i'll do is just start planting i can't uh, i'm trying to decide about this hookah here in this line maybe not I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'm going to get started over there and maybe over there and then work my way to here and make the decision how I want to plant these.
and I am done with round two of planting. It's looking so good. Every single thing I add to this garden bed, it's just making it that much better. I'm really, really excited for it. And I cannot wait for all these plants to grow in and grow to their true size because I think this is going to be incredible. Everybody that's driving by is telling me how beautiful it is and how happy they are that somebody's finally doing something with this area, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm really happy to hear that. Makes me feel good. So let me show you guys what I did. Okay, so we have our volunteer sunflower that is looking pretty good, almost ready to be picked. And then I can plant that last liriope. We come over here and we can see that I have the southern sword ferns all back here and those are going to get pretty big um, i think they're two to three feet i think and four feet wide something like that um, but they're going to get pretty big they've gotten really big in my yard uh, then we have the lime colored heuchera that i think is just adding such a beautiful pop to this area that lime really makes a huge difference in the shade i love it Okay, and then coming this way, here's what I finally decided to do with the hookra over here. I decided not to put it in a line. I decided it was a little too close to the oak tree. You wanna leave some space. You wanna leave six to 10 feet of space uh, free. So it's kind of encroaching too close on the, that side. I have plenty, plenty of room over on my neighbor's side. Um, but I decided to put them right here, which I think they look good. Another Southern sword fern right back there. I have a couple back there in my neighbor's little property um like it's like a little inlet i guess i would say uh he said that we left all the grasses there and i think i, I think i told you guys this but we're actually going to end up taking them out um so that's going to be a job for another day i'll get to that i just wanted to get all these plants in more of the lime heuchera right here a couple more of the pin cushion flowers um, i still want to get a couple more of those you can see um, i haven't hooked up drip yet and it's a little bit windy so these plants they need they need a drink of water so <laughs> i'm going to get my hose i'm going to throw it over the fence that's my fence right there um, and i'm going to water everything in really really well today and then finally this one right here, this is the Cleveland sage, and it doesn't look like much right now, but it's gonna have really beautiful purple flowers on it, and it just smells heavenly. I wish you guys could smell it, because uh, as I'm rubbing my hands on it, it just smells fantastic. I Like, this is right up there with lavender for me. It smells so good. So go to a plant store, find one, and just so that you can smell it, so you can see what I'm talking about, because it's really great. This is actually gonna get five by five, so it's gonna be huge. So I left a big space open for it, um, because it's, it's gonna fill in, and it's gonna be really, really pretty like that. All right, so that is it for today's video. Of course, more plant shopping, more planting. I am so almost done with this garden bed though. I just have a couple more plants I have to find at the store, uh, two more of the Cleveland sage, and then a couple more of the pincushion flowers. Um, and then I just have to do irrigation and mulch, and then I can put a big check next to this project, which is fantastic. This project really did go very smoothly. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.